a Shropshire lad. I am E. Houseman. Introduction by William Stanley Braithwaite. Introduction. The method of the poems in a Shropshire lad illustrates better than any theory how poetry may assume the attire of reality, and yet in speech of the simplest, become in spirit the sheer quality of Lobo-Anus. For in these unprusive pages, there is nothing shunned which makes the spectacle of life parade its dark and painful, its ironic and cynical burdens as well as those images with happy and exquisite aspects. With a broader and deeper background of experience and environment, which by some divine special privilege belongs to the poetic imagination, it is easier to set apart and contrast these opposing words and sympathies in a poet but here we find them invoked in a restricted local and English county where the rich, cool tranquil landscape gives a solid texture to the human show. But, I think impresses one thrills like ecstatic, half-smothered strains of music floating from unperceived instruments in Mr. Usman's poems is that encounter his spirit constantly and grows with life. It is this encounter, what you feel in the Greeks, and as in the Greeks, it is a spiritual waging of miraculous forces. There is too in Mr. Usman's poems. A singularly Grecian quality of a clean and fragrant mental and emotional temper vibrating equally whether the theme dealt with is ruin or defeat, or some great tragic crisis of spirit, or with moods and ardors of pure enjoyment and simplicities of feeling. Scarcely has any modern book of poems shown so sure a touch of genius in this respect the magic, in a continuous go saturating the substance of every picture and motive with its own peculiar essence. Cynical bitterness of Mr. Hausman's poems is really nothing more than his ability to etch in sharp tones the actualities of experience. The poet himself is never cynical, his joyousness is all too apparent in the very manner and intensity of expression. <laughs> Lads. Of Ludlow are so human to him, the Hawthorne and Broom on the Severn shores are so fragrant with associations, he cannot help but compose under a kind of imaginative wizardry of exaltation even when the immediate subject is grim or grotesque. In many of these brief tense poems the reader confronts a mask, as it were, with appalling and distorted lineaments but behind it the poet smiles, perhaps ironically, but smiles nevertheless. In the real countenance there are no tales or grievances, but a quizzical, humorous expression which shows when one has torn the subterfuge away. That here is a spirit whom life may menace with its contradictions and fatalities, but never dupe with its circumstance and mystery. All this quite points to and partly explains the charm of the poems in a Shropshire lad. The fastidious care with which each poem is built out of the simplest of technical elements, the precise tone and color of language employed to articulate impulse and mood, and the reproduction of objective substances for a clear visualization of character and scene, all tend by a sure and unfaltering composition. To press in the lyric art unique in English poetry of the last 25 years, I dare say I have scarcely touched upon the secret of Mr. Hassman's book. For some it may radiate from the Shropshire life he so finely etches for others, and a vivid artistic simplicity and unity of values through which Shropshire lads and landscapes are presented. It must be, however, in the miraculous fusing of the two. Whatever that secret is, the charm of it never fails after all these years to keep the poems preserved with a freshness and vitality, which are the qualities of enduring genius. A Shropshire Lad 1887 From Clee to Heaven the Beacon Burns the shires have seen it plain from north and south a sign returns and beacons burn again. Look left, look right, the hills are bright, 
the dales are light between, because tis fifty years tonight that God has saved the queen. Now, when the flame they watch not towers about the soil they trod, lads, we remember friends of ours who shared the work with God. Two skies that knit their heart strings right, two fields that bred them brave, the saviors come not home tonight themselves they could not save. It dawns an age of tombstones show and shrub, sure names are red and the Nile spills his overflow beside the Severn's dead. We pledged in peace by farm and town the queen they served in war, and fire the beacons up and down the land they perished for. We living sing from height to height tis heard and with the rest your voices ring, lads of the fifty-third. Oh, God will save her, fear you not be you the men you've been, get you the sons your father's got, and God will save the queen. Loveliest of trees, the cherry now is hung with bloom along the bough, and stands about the woodland right wearing white for his stridlet. Now, of my three score years and ten, twenty will not come again, and take from seventy springs a score, it only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, fifty springs saw little room about the woodlands, I will go to see the cherry hung with snow. The recruit. Leave your home behind, lad, and reach your friends your hand, and go, and luck go with you while Ludlow Tower shall stand. Oh, come you home of Sunday when Ludlow streets are still and Ludlow bells are calling to farm and lane and mill. Or come you home of Monday when Ludlow Market hums and Ludlow chimes are playing. The conquering hero comes, come you home a hero, or come not home at all. The lads you leave will mind you till Ludlow Tower shall fall. And you will list the bugle that blows in lands of morn, and make the foes of England be sorry you were born. And you till trump of doomsday on lands of morn may lie and make the hearts of comrades be heavy where you die. Leave your home behind you, your friends by field and town, oh, town and field will mind you till Ludlow Tower is down. Reveille. Wake the silver dusk returning up the beach of darkness brims, and the ship of sunrise burning strands upon the eastern rims. Wake the vaulted shadow shadows, trampled to the floor it span, and the tent of night in tatters straws the scary pavilion land. Up, lad, up, tis late for lying here the drums of morning play hark, the empty highways crying. O oh, bound the hills away, towns and countries woo together, forelands beacon, belfries call never lad that trod on leather live to feast his heart withal. Lad, this that lion cumber sunlit pallets never thrive morns a bed and daylight slumber were not meant for man alive. Clay lies still, but blood's a rover breath's a wear that will not keep up. Lad, when the journey's over there'll be time enough to sleep. Oh, see how thick the gold cup flowers are lying in field and lane, with dandelions to tell the hours that never are told again. Oh, may I squire you round the meads and pick you posies gay? It will do no harm to take my arm. You may, young man, you may. Ah, uh, spring was sent for less and lad, tis now the blood runs gold, and man and maid had best be glad before the world is old. But flowers today may flower tomorrow, but never as good as new, suppose I want my arm right round. Tis true, young man, tis true. Some lads there are, tis shame to say, that only court to thieve, and once they bear the bloom away tis little enough they leave. Then keep your heart for men like me and safe from trustless chaps. My love is true and all for you. Perhaps, young man, perhaps. Oh, look in my eyes, then can you doubt? Why, tis a mile from town. How green the grass is all about! We might as well sit down, oh, life, what is it but a flower? Why must true lovers sigh? Be kind, have pity, my own, my pretty. Goodbye, young man, goodbye.
When the lad for longing sighs, mute and dull of cheer and pale, if at death's own door he lies, maiden, you can heal his ail. Lover's ills are all too by the one look, the hollow tone, the hung head, the sunken eye, you can have them for your own. By them, by them even mourn, lover's ills are all too sell. Then you can lie down forlorn, but the lover will be well. When smoke stood up from Ludlow, and mist blew off from Tang, and blight the field too plowing against the morning be my strode beside my team. The blackbird in the coppice looked out to see me stride, and hearkened as I whistled the tramping team beside, and fluted and replied. Lie down, lie down, young yeoman, what used to rise and rise? Rise man a thousand mornings, yet down at last he lies, and then the man is wise. I heard the tune he sang me, and spied his yellow bill, I picked a stone and aimed it, and threw it with a will, then the bird was still. Then my soul within me took up the blackbird's strain, and still beside the horses along the dewy lane it sang the song again. Lie down, lie down, young young, the sun moves always west, the road one treads too little will lead one home to rest, and I will be the best. The sun burns on the half moon hill, by now the blood is dried and Maurice amongst the hay lies still and my knife is in his side. My mother thinks us long away, tis time the field were mown. She had two sons at rising day, tonight she'll be alone. And here's a bloody hand to shake, and oh, man, here's goodbye, we'll sweat no more on Sith and Rake, my bloody hands and I. I wish you strength to bring you pride, and the love to keep you clean, and I wish you luck, come Lamastide, at racing on the green. Long for me the rick will wait, and long will wait the fold, and long will stand the empty plate, and dinner will be cold. On moonlit heath and lonesome bank the sheep beside me graze, and yon the gallows used to plank fast by the four crossways. A careless shepherd once would keep the flocks by moonlight there, one and high amongst the glimmering sheep the dead man stood on air. They hang us now in Shrewsbury jail, the whistles blow forlorn, and trains all night groan on the rail to men that die at morn. There sleeps in Shrewsbury jail tonight, or wakes, as may betide, a better lad, if things went right, than most that sleep outside. And naked to the hangman's noose the morning clocks will ring a neck God made for other use than strangling in a string. And sharp the link of life will snap, and dead on air will stand heels that held up as straight a chap as treads upon the land. So here I'll watch the night and wait to see the morning shine when he will hear the stroke of eight and not the stroke of nine. And wish my friend as sound asleep as lads I did not know that shepherded the moonlit sheep a hundred years ago. On hanging in chains was called keeping sheep by moonlight. March. The sun at noon to higher air, unharnessing the silver pair that laid before his chariot swam, rides on the gold wool of the ram. So brave a notes the storm cock sings to start the rusted wheel of things, and brutes in field and brutes in pen leap that the world goes round again. The boys are up the woods with day to fetch the daffodils away, and home at noonday from the hills they bring no death of daffodils. A field for palms the girls repair, and sure enough the palms are there, and each will find by hedge or pond her waving silver tufted wand. And farm and field through all the shire that I beholds the heart's desire are, let not only mine be vain, for lovers should be loved again. On your midnight pallet lying listen, and then do the door lads that waste the light in sighing in the dark should sigh no more night should ease the lover's sorrow therefore since I go tomorrow pity me before. And the land to which I travel, the far dwelling, let me say once, if here the catch is gravel, and I kind of bed lay, and the breast the darnel smothers rested once upon another's when it was not clay. When I watch the living meet, 
and the moving pageant file warm and braiding through the street where I lodge a little while. If the hates of hate and lust in the house of flesh are strong, let me mind the house of dust where my sojourn shall be long. In the nation that is not nothing stands that stood before their revenges are forgotten, and the hater hates no more. Lovers lying two and two ask not whom they sleep beside, and the bridegroom all night through never turns him to the bride. When I was one and twenty I heard a wise man say, Give crowns and pounds and guineas, but not your heart away. Give pearls away and rubies, but keep your fancy free. But I was one and twenty, no use to talk to me. When I was one and twenty, I heard him say again. The heart out of the bosom was never given in vain. Tis paid with size of plenty and soul for endless rue. And I am two and twenty, and oh, tis true, tis true. There pass the careless people that call their souls their own here by the road I loiter, how idle and alone. Up past the plunge of plummet, in seas I cannot sound, my heart and soul and senses, world without end, are drowned. His folly has not fellow beneath the blue of day that gives to man or woman his heart and soul away. There flowers no bomb to sane him from east of earth to west that's lost for a lasting the heart out of his breast. Here by the labouring highway with empty hands I stroll seedy till doomsday morning I lost my heart and soul. Look not in my eyes for fear they mirror true the sight I see, and there you find your face too clear and love it and be lost like me. On the long nights through must lie spent in starred faded sighs, but why should you as well as I perish? It's not in my eyes. A Grecian lad, as I hear tell, one that many loved in vain, looked into a forest well and never looked away again. There, when the turf in springtime flowers, with downward iron gazes sad, stands amid the glancing shores a jungle, not a Grecian lad. It nods and curtsies and recovers when the wind blows above, the metal on the graves of lovers that hang themselves for love. The nettle nods, the wind blows over, the man he does not move, the lover of the grave, the lover that hanged himself for love. Zwei. Twice a week the winter throw here stood I to keep the gold football then was fighting sorrow for the young man's soul. Now in May time to the wicket out I march with bat and pad see the son of grief at cricket trying to be glad. Try I will no harm in trying wonder tis how little moth keeps the bones of man from lying on the bed of earth. Oh, when I was in love with you then I was clean and brave. And miles round the wonder grew how well did I behave. And now the fancy passes by, and nothing will remain, and miles round they'll say that I am quite myself again. To an athlete dying young. The time you won your town, the race we chaired you through the marketplace, man and boy stood cheering by, and home we brought you, should I? The day. The road all runners come, should I, we bring you home, and set you at your threshold down, townsman of a stiller town. Smart lad, to slip bedhands away from fields where glory does not stay, and early though the laurel grows, it withers quicker than the rose. Ice that shady night has shut cannot see the record cut, and silence sounds no worse than chairs after earth has stopped the ears. Now you will not swell the rout of lads that wore their hunnels out, runners from renown at ran and the name died before the man. To set, before its echoes fade, the fleet foot on the sill of shade, and hold to the low lintel up the still fanded challenge cup. And round that early old head will flock to gaze the strength less dead, and find unwithered on its curls the garland briefer than a girl's. Oh, fair enough are sky and plain, but I know fairer far those who are as beautiful again that in the water are. 
The pools and rivers wash so clean the trees and clouds and air, the like on earth was never seen, and though that I were there. These are the thoughts I often think as I stand gazing down and act upon the cressy brink to strip and dive and drown. But in the golden sanded brooks and azure mares I spy a silly lad that longs and looks and wishes he were I. Rodan Hill 1 In summertime on bread and the bells they sound so clear round both the shires they ring them in steeples far and near, a happy noise to hear. Here of a Sunday morning my love and I would lie and see the colored counties, and hear the larks so high about us in the sky. The bells would ring to call her in valleys miles away. Come all to church, good people, good people, come and pray. But here my love would stay, and I would turn and dance among the springing thyme. Oh, peel upon our wedding, and we will hear the chime, and come to church in time. But when the snows at Christmas on bread and top were strown, my love rose up so early and stole out unbeknown and went to church alone. They told the one bell only, groom there was none to see, the mourners followed after, and so to church went she, and would not wait for me. The bells they sound on bread and, and still the steeples hum. Oh, noisy bells, be dumb I hear you, I will come, unpronounced breed and the street sounds to the soldier's tread, and out we troop to see a single red coat turns his head, he turns and looks at me. My man, from sky to sky so far, we never crossed before such leagues apart the world's ends are, we're like to meet no more. But thoughts at heart have you and I we can't stop to tell but dead or living, drunk or dry, soldier, I wish you well. The lads in their hundreds too little come in for the fair. There's men from the barn and the forge and the mill and the fold. The lads for the girls and the lads for the liquor are there, and there with the rest are the lads that will never be old. There's chaps from the town and the field and the till and the court, and many to count all the stalwart, and many the brave, and many the handsome of face and the handsome of heart, and few that will carry their looks or their truth to the grave. I wish one could know them, I wish there were tokens to tell the fortunate fellows that now you can never discern and then one could talk with them friendly and wish them farewell and watch them depart on the way that they will not return. But now you may stare as you like and there's nothing to scan and brushing your elbow on your stead and not to be told they carry back bright to the coin of the mintage of man the lads that will die in their glory and never be old. Say, lad, have you things to do? Quick then, while your day's at prime. Quick, and if tis work for two, here am I, man, now's your time. Send me now, and I shall go call me. I shall hear you call you smear, they lay me low where a man's no use at all. Ere the wholesome flesh decay, and the willing nerve be numb, and the lips lack breath to say. No, oh, my lad, I cannot come. This time of year a twelve month past, when Fred and I would meet, we needs must jangle, till at last we fought and I was beat. So then the summer fields about, till rainy days began, Rose Holland on her Sundays out walked with the better man. The better man she walks with still, though now tis not with Fred a lad that lives and has his will is worth a dozen dead. Fred keeps the house all kinds of weather, and Clay's the house he keeps when Rose and I walk out together stocks a lies Fred and sleeps. Along the fields as we came by a year ago, my love and I, the aspen over style and stone was talking to itself alone. Oh, who are these that kiss and pass? A country lover and his last two lovers looking to be wed and time shall put them both to bed. But she shall lie with earth above, and he beside another love. And sure enough, beneath the tree there walks another love with me, and over at the aspen heaves its rainy sounding silver leaves, and I spell nothing in their stir, but now perhaps they speak to her. And plain for her to understand, they talk about a time at hand when I shall sleep with clover clad, and she beside another lad.
is my Templar ring that I was used to drive and hear the harness jingle when I was man alive. Hey, the horses trample, the harness jingles now no change though you lie under the land you used to plow. Is football playing along the river shore with lads to chase the leather, now I stand up no more. Hey, the ball is flying, the lads play heart and soul, the goal stands up, the keeper stands up to keep the goal. Is my girl happy, that I thought hard to leave, and as she tired of weeping as she lies down at eve? Hey, she lies down lightly, she lies not down to weep, your girl is well contented. Be still, my lad, and sleep. Is my friend hardy, now I am thin and pine, and has he found to sleep in a better bed than mine? Yes, lad, I lie easy, I lie as lads would choose, I share a dead man's sweetheart, never ask me whose. The Welsh marshes. I the veins of Shrewsbury gleam is landed in Severn stream, the bridges from the steeplet crest cross the water east and west. The flag of morn and conqueror state enters at the English gate, the vanquished eve, as night prevails, bleeds upon the road to Wales. Ages since the vanquished bled round my mother's marriage, but there the ravens feasted far about the open house of war. When Severn down to build was ran colored with the death of man, cast upon her brother's grave the Saxon got me on the slave. The sound of fight is silent long that began the ancient wrong long the voice of terrors is still that wept of all the endless ill. In my heart it has not died, the war that sleeps on Severn side they cease not fighting east and west on the marches of my breast. Here the truceless armies yet trample, rolled in blood and sweat they kill and kill and never die and I think that each is I. None will part us, none undo the knot that makes one flesh of two, sick with hatred, sick with pain, strangling, when shall we be slain? When shall I be dead and rid of the wrong my father did? How long, how long, till spade and hearse put to sleep my mother's curse? The Lent Lily Tis spring come out to ramble, the hilly breaks around, for on the thorn and bramble about the hollow ground the primroses are found. And there's the wind flower chilly with all the winds at play, and there's the lantern lily that has not long to stay and dies on Easter day. And since till girls go maying you find the primrose still, and find the wind flower playing with every wind at will, but not the daffodil. Ring baskets now and sally upon the spring's ray, and bear from hill and valley the daffodil away that dies on Easter day. Others, I am not the first, have willed more mischief than they dost, if in the breathless night I too shiver now, tis nothing new. More than I, if truth were told, have stood and sweated hot and cold, and through their rains and ice and fire fear contended with desire. A good ones like me were they, but I like them shall win my way lastly to the bed of mold where there's neither heat nor cold. But from my grave across my brow place no wind of healing now, and fire and ice within me fight beneath the suffocating night. On when lock edge the woods in trouble his forest face the rake and heaves the gale, it plies the saplings double, and tick on seven snow the leaves. T'would blow like this through hold and hanger when Eric in the city stood tis the old wine and the old anger, but then it threshed another wood. Then twas before my time, the Roman at yonder heaving hill would stare the blood that warms an English yeoman, the thoughts that hurt him, they were there. There, like the wine through woods and riot, through him the gale of life blew high, the tree of man was never quiet, then twas the Roman, now tis I. The gale. It plies the saplings double, it blows so hard, it will soon be gone today the Roman and his trouble are ashes under a reckon. From far, from even morning and yon twelve-winded sky, the stuff of life to knit me blue hither here am I. 
Now for a breath I tarry nor yet disperse apart. Take my hand quick and tell me, what have you in your heart? Speak now, and I will answer how shall I help you? Say her to the winds twelve quarters I take my endless way. If truth in hearts that perish could move the powers on high, I think the love I bear you should make you not to die. Sure, sure, if steadfast meaning, if single thought could save, the world might end tomorrow, you should not see the grave. This long and sure set liking, this boundless will to please, oh, you should lie forever if there were help in these. But now, since all is idle, to this lost heart be kind, ere to a town you journey where friends are ill to find. The new mistress. Oh, sick I am to see you, will you never let me be? You may be good for something, but you are not good for me. Oh, go where you are wanted, for you are not wanted here. And that was all the farewell when I parted from my dear. I will go where I am wanted, to a lady born and bred who will dress me free for nothing in a uniform of red. She will not be sick to see me if I only keep it clean. I will go where I am wanted for a soldier of the queen. I will go where I am wanted, for the sergeant does not mind, he may be sick to see me, but he treats me very kind, he gives me beer and breakfast and the ribbon for my cap, and I never knew a sweetheart spend her money on a chap. I will go where I am wanted, where there's room for one or two, and I'm an unto many for the work there is to do with a standing line worse than and the dropping dead lie thick, and the enemies of England they shall see me and be sick. On the idle hill of summer, sleepy with the flow of streams, for I hear the steady drummer drumming like a noise in dreams. Far and near and low and loud on the roads of earth go by, dear two friends and food for powder, soldiers marching all to die. East and west on fields forgotten bleach the bones of comrades slain, lovely lads and dead and rotten none that go return again. Are the calling bugles hollow, high the screaming fife replies, gay the files of scarlet fall woman bore me, I will rise. White in the moon the long road lies, the moon stands blank above white in the moon the long road lies that leads me from my love. Still hangs the hedge without a gust, still, still the shadows stain my feet upon the moonlit dust pursue the ceaseless way. The world is round, so travelers tell, and straight they'll reach the track, trudge on, trudge on, it will all be well, the way will guide one back. But ere the circle homeward hies far, far must it remove white in the moon, the long road lies that leads me from my love. As through the wild green hills of while the train ran changing sky and shire, and far behind, a fading crest. Though in the forsaken west sank the high red head of click, my hand lay amply on my knee. Aching on my knee it lay that morning half a shire away, so many an honest fellow's fist had well nigh wrung it from the wrist. And said I, since now we part from fields and men we know by heart, from strangers' faces, strangers' lands, and you have held true fellows' hands. Be clean then wrought before you do a thing they'd not believe of you. You and I must keep from shame in London streets that Shropshire name on banks of tents they must not say seven breeds worse men than they and friends abroad must bear in mind friends at home they leave behind. Oh, I shall be stiff and cold when I forget you hearts of gold the land where I shall mind you not is the land where all's forgot. And if my foot returns no more to Tem nor Cove nor Severn shore, luck, my lads, be with you still by falling stream and standing hill, by chimming tower and whispering treatment that made a man of me. About your work in town and farm, still you'll keep my head from harm, still you'll help me, hence that gave a grasp to friend me to the grave. The winds out of the west land blow, my friends have breathed them, they're warm with the blood of lads I know come cease the sighing air. It fanned their temples, filled their lungs, scattered their forelocks free. My friends made words of it with tongues that talked no more to me. 
Their voices dying as they fly. They come the wind are sown the names of men blow soundless by my fellows and my own. O oh, lads, at home I heard you plain, but here your speech is still, and down the sighing wind in vain you howl from the hill. The wind and I, we both were there, but neither long ago now through the friendless world we fare and sigh upon the road. Tis time, I think by when locked town the golden broom should blow the hawthorn sprinkled up and down should charge the land with snow. Spring will not wait the loiterer's time who keeps so long away so others wear the broom and climb the hedgerows heap with me. O oh, tarnish late on windlock edge, gold that I never see lie long, high snow drifts in the hedge that will not shower on me. Into my heart an air that kills from yon far country blows what are those blue remembered hills, what spires, what farms are those. That is the land of lost content, I see its shining plain, the happy highways where I went and cannot come again. In my own shire, if I was sad homely comforters I had the earth, because my heart was sore, sorrowed for the sun she bore on standing hills, long to remain, shared their short-lived comrades' pain. And bound for the same bourne as I, on every road I wandered by, trod beside me, close and dear. The beautiful and death-struck ear, whether in the wood and brown, I heard the beech at rustle down. And saw the purple crocus pale flower about the autumn dale, or littering far the fields on me, let his smokes a bleaching lay. And like the scarlet water stood the bulbos in the azured wood. Yonder, lightening other loads, the seasons range the country roads. But here in London streets I can no such helpmates, only men and these are not implied to bear if they would not others care. They have enough as tis I see in many an eye that measures me the mortal sickness of a mind too unhappy to be kind. And done with misery, all they can is to hate their fellow man until they drop the needs must still look at you and wish you ill. The merry guy. Once in the wind of morning I ranged the thin I walled the world wide air was azure and all the brooks ran gold. There threw the deuce beside me behold a youth that trod, with feathered cap on forehead, and poised a golden rod. With mean to match the morning and gay delightful guise and friendly brows and laughter he looked me in the eyes. But whence, I asked, and whither? He smiled and would not say and looked at me and beckoned and laughed and led the way. And with kind looks and laughter and nod to say beside we two went on together, I and my happy guide. Across the glittering pastures and empty uplands still and solitude of shepherds high in the folded hill. By hanging woods and hamlets that gaze through orchards down on many a windmill turning and far discovered town. With gay regards of promise and sure on slack and stride and smiles and nothing spoken led on my merry guide. My blowing realms of woodland with sunstruck veins afield and clouded shadows sailing about the windy wild. My valley guarded granges and silver waters wide, content at heart I followed with my delightful guide. And like the cloudy shadows across the country blown, we two face on forever, but not we two alone. With the great gale we journey that breathes from gardens thin, born in the drift of blossoms whose petals throng the wine. We down the heaven-heard whisper of dancing leaflets whirled from all the woods that autumn bereaves in all the world. And midst the fluttering legion of all that ever died I follow. And before us goes the delightful guide. With lips that brim with laughter but never once respond, And feet that fly on feathers and serpent circled wand. The immortal part. When I meet the morning beam, Or lay me down at night to dream, I hear my bones within me say, Another night, another day, When shall this slough of sense be cast? This dust of thoughts be laid at last, the man of flesh and soul be slain and the man of bone remain. This tongue that talks, these lungs that shout, these thieves that hustle us about, 
This brain that fills the skull with schemes and its humming hive of dreams. East today are proud in power and lorded in their little hour the immortal bones obey control of dying flesh and dying soul. Tis long till even morn are gone slow the endless night comes on, and late to fullness grows the birth that shall last as long as earth. Wanders eastward, wanders west, know you why you cannot rest. Tis that every mother's son travails with a skeleton. Lie down in the bed of dust, bear the fruit that bear you must bring the eternal seed to light, and morn is all the same as night. Rest you so from trouble sore, fear the heat o' the sun no more, nor the snowing winter wild, now you labor not with child. Empty vessel, garment cast, we that war you long shall last, another night, another day. Therefore they shall do my will today while I am master still, and flesh and soul, now both are strong, shall hail the soul and slaves along. Before this fire of sense decay, this smoke of thought blow clean away, and leave with ancient night alone the stiffest and enduring bone. God. So quick, so clean an ending. Oh, that was right, lad. That was brave, yours was not an ill for mending. Twas best to take it to the grave. Oh, you had forfeit. You could reason, and saw your road and where it led. And only wise and brave in season put the pistol to your head. Oh, soon, and better so than later, after long disgrace and scorn, you shot dead the household traitor, the soul that should not have been born. Right, you guess the rising morrow and scorn to tread the mire, you must dust your wages, son of sorrow, but men may come to worse than dust. Tolls are none, undoing others, long time since the tale began. You would not like to wrong your brothers, O oh lad. You died as fits a man. Now to your grave shall friend and stranger with Ruth and some with envy come unishinured, clear of danger, clean of guilt, pass hence and home. Turn safe to rest, no dreams, no waking and here, man, here's the wreath I made, tis not a gift that's worth the taking, but where it and it will not fade. If it chance your eye offend you, pluck it out, lad, and be sound to the heart. But here are sobs to friend you, and many a balsam grows on ground. And if your hand or foot offend you, cut it off, lad, and behold but play the man, stand up and end you when your sickness is your soul. So I Ring then this timeless grave to throw, no cypress, somber on the snow snap, not from the bitter you his leaves that live December through break, no rosemary, bright with rhyme and sparkling to the cruel clime, nor plod the winterland to look for willows in the icy brook to cast them leafless round him, bring no spray that ever buds in spring. But if the Christmas field has kept on the last gleaner overstepped, or shriveled flax, Whose floor is blue a single season, never to earth one home whose year is or shivers on the upland floor. Oh, bring from hell and stream and plain whatever will not flower again, to give him comfort he and those shall bide eternal bedfellows where low upon the couch he lies whence he never shall rise. The Carpenter's Son Ere the hangman stops his cart now the best of friends must part. Fare you well, for ill fare I live, lads, and I will die. Oh, at home had I but stayed prentice to my father's trade, had I stuck to plain and ads, I had not been lost, my lads. Then I might have built perhaps gallows trees for other chaps, never dangled on my own, had I but left it alone. No, you see, they hang me high, and the people passing by stop to shake their fists and curse, so tis come from ill to worse. Here hang I, and right and left two poor fellows hang forth after all the saints the luck we prove, though the midmost hangs for love. Comrades all, that stand and gaze, walk henceforth in other ways, see my neck and save your own comrades all, leave it alone. Make some day a decent end, shrewder fellows than your friend.
Fare ye well, for ill fare I live, lads, and I will die. Be still, my soul, be still, the arms you bear are brittle, earth and high heaven are fixed of old and founded strong. Think rather, call to thought, if now you grieve a little, the days when we had rest a soul, for they were long. Men loved uncanness then, but lightless in the quarry I slept and saw not tears fell down. I did not mourn sweat ran and blood sprang out and I was never sorry that it was well with me in days ere I was born. Now and I muse for why and never find the reason, I pace the earth, and drink there and feel the sun, be still. Be still, my soul, it is but for a season that us endure in our own sea and justice done. Hey, look high heaven and earth hail from the prime foundation, all thoughts to rip the heart are here, and all our vain horror and scorn and hate and fear and indignation, oh why did I awake? When shall I sleep again? Think no more, lad laugh, be jolly, why should men make haste to die? Empty heads and tongues a-talking make the rough road easy walking, and the feather paid of folly bears the falling sky. Oh, tis jesting, dancing, drinking spins the heavy world around. If young hearts were not so clever, oh, they would be young forever, think no more, tis only thinking lace lads underground. Clunton and Clunbury, Clunganford and Clun, are the quietest places under the sun. In valleys of springs of rivers, Bione and Temnon clan, the country for easy livers, the quietest under the sun. We still had sorrows to lighten, one could not be always glad, and lads knew trouble at night and when I was a night and lad. My bridge is that tense runs under in London, the town built ill, tis sure small matter for wonder if sorrow is with one still. And if as a lad grows older the troubles he bears are more, he carries his griefs on a shoulder that hands held them long before. Where shall one halt to deliver this luggage I'd leave set down? Not Thames, not Thames the river, nor London, nor night in the town. Tis a long way further than Knighton, a quieter place than Clun, where dooms they may thunder and lighten and little it will matter to one. Loitering with a vacant eye along the Grecian gallery, and brooding on my heavy ill, I met a statue standing still. Still in marble stone stood he, and steadfastly he looked at me. I thought the look would say, We both were fashioned far away we neither knew, when we were young, these Londoners we live among. Still he stood and eyed me hard, and earnest and a grave regard. But, Lad, trooping with your luck, I too would be where I am not. I too survey that endless line of men whose thoughts are not as mine. Years there you stood up from rest, on my neck the color pressed years, when you lay down your ill, I shall stand and bear it still. Courage, lad, tis not for long stand, quit you like stone, be strong. So I thought his look would say and light on me my trouble, eh? and I slept out in flesh and bone manful like the man of stone. Far in a western Brooklyn that bred me long ago the Pope I'll stand and tremble by pools I used to know. There, in the windless night time, the wonder, marveling why, halts on the bridge to hearken how soft the Pope I'll sigh. He hears long since forgotten and fields where I was known here I lie down in London and turn to rest alone. There, by the starlit fences, the wander halts and hears my soul that lingers sighing about the glimmering wares. The true lover The lad came to the door at night, when lovers crowned their vows, and whistled soft and out of sight in shadow of the boughs. I shall not vex you with my face henceforth, my love, for I so take me in your arms a space before the east is grey. When I from hence away am past I shall not find a bride, and you shall be the first and last I ever lay beside. She heard and went and knew not why her heart to his she laid light was there beneath the sky but dark under the shade. Oh do you breathe, lad? 
that your breast seems not to rise and fall, and here upon my bosom press there beats no heart at all. Aloud, my girl, it once would knock, you should have felt it then, but since for you I stopped the clock, it never goes again. Oh lad, what is it, lad, that drips wet from your neck on mine? What is it falling on my lips, my lad, that tastes of brine? Oh like enough tis blood, my dear, for when the knife has slit the throat across from ear to ear to bleed because of it. Under the stars the air was light but dark below the boughs, the still air of the speechless night, when lovers crown their vows. With rue my heart is laden for golden friends I had, for many a rustlet maiden and many a life of lad. I brooks too broad for leaping the life of boys are laid, the rose-lipped girls are sleeping in fields where roses fade. Westward on the high-hilled plains where for me the world began still, I think in your veins frets the changeless blood of man. Now that other lads that I strip to bathe on Severn shore, they no help, for all they try, tread the mill I trod before. There when hillless is the west and the darkness hushes wide, where the lad lies down to rest stands the troubled dream beside. There on thoughts that once were mine, day looks down the eastern steep, and the youth at morning's shine makes the vow he will not keep. The day of battle. For I hear the bugle blow to call me where I would not go. And the guns begin the song, soldier, fly or stay for long. Comrade, if to turn and fly may the soldier never die, fly I would, for who would not? Tis sure no pleasure to be shot. But since the man that runs away lives to die another day, and cowards funerals when they come are not wept so well at home. Therefore, though the best is bad, Stand and do the best, my lad, stand and fight and see your slain, and take the bullet in your brain. You smile upon your friend today, today his ills are over you, hearken to the lover say, and happy is the lover. Tis late to hearken, late to smile, but better late than ever I shall have lived a little while before I die forever. Levi. When I came last to Ludlow amidst the moonlight pale, two friends kept step beside me, two honest lads and hale. Now Dick lies long in the churchyard, and Ned lies long in jail, and I come home to Ludlow amidst the moonlight pale. But I love Portland. The star-filled seas are smooth tonight from France to England, strong black towers above the Portland light the fell on quarried stone. On yon island, not to rise, never to stir forth free, far from his folk a dead lad lies that once was friends with me. Lie you easy, dream you light, and sleep you fast, for I am luckier may you find the night than ever you found the day. Now how the fires burn out too black, and lights are guttering low square your shoulders, lift your pack, and leave your friends and go. Oh never fear man, now it's too dread, look not left nor right in all the endless road you tread, there's nothing but the night. Ugly steeple. The vein on ugly steeple veers bright. A far known sign, and there lie ugly people, and there lie friends of mine. All in their midst the tower divides the shade and sun, and the clock strikes the hour and tells the time to none. To south the headstones cluster, the sunny mounds lie thick, the dead are more in muster at ugly than a quake. Both, for a soon told number, chill graves the sexton delves. And steep lush and on slumber the slayers of themselves. To north, to south, lie parted, with ugly tower above, the kind, the singly hearted, the lads I used to love. And south or north, tis only a choice of friends one knows, and I shall ne'er be lonely asleep with these or those.
Terence, this is stupid stuff. You eat your victuals fast enough. There can't be much miss. Tis clear to see the rate you drink your beer. But oh, good lord, the voice you make, it gives a chap the belly. The cow, the old cow, she is dead, it sleeps well. The horn head we poor lads, tis our turn now to hear such tunes as kill the cow. Pretty friendship tis to rhyme your friends to death before their time moping melancholy mad come pipe a tune to dance to, lad. Why, if tis dancing you would be, there's brisker pipes than poetry. Day, for what were hope yards meant, or why was burden built on Trent? O oh, many a peer of England brews livelier liquor than the muse, and more does more than Milton can to justify God's waste to man. Ail man, all's the stuff to drink for fellows whom it hurts to think look into the pewter pot to see the world as the world's not. And faith, tis pleasant till tis past the mischief is that it will not last. Oh, I have been to La Lafayre and left my neck I got nowhere, and carried halfway home, or near pines and courts of little bit in the wood seemed none so bad and I myself a starling lad, and down in lovely muck I've lain happy till I woke again. Then I saw the morning sky, hey ho, the tale was all a lie the world, it was the old world yet, I was like, my things were wed, and nothing now remained to do but begin the game anew. Therefore, since the world has still much good, but much less good than ill, and while the sun and moon and ill lacks a chance, but troubles sure I face it as a wise man would and train for ill and not for good. Tis true the stuff I bring for sale is not so brisk a brew as ale out of a stem that scored the hand I wrung it in a weary land. But take it if the smack is sour, the better for the embedded hour it should do good to heart and head when your soul is in my soul stead and I will friend you if I may in the dark and cloudy day. There was a king reigned in the east there, when kings will sit to feast, they get their fill before they think with poison meat and poison drink. He gathered all that springs to birth from the many vim, the first a little, thence two more, he sampled all her killing store and easy, smiling, seasoned sound, said the king when hills went round. They put arsenic in his meat and stared aghast to watch him eat, they poured strychnine in his cup and shook to see him drink it up, they shook, they stared as whites their shirt them, it was their poison herb, I tell the tale that I heard told. If it aids, he died old. The sigh. I hoed and tranched and weeded, and took the flowers too fair, I brought them home and heeded the he was not the where. So up and down I saw them four lads like me to find, when I shall lie below them, a dead man out of mine. Some seed the birds devour, and some the season mars, but here and there will flower the solitary stars. And fields will yearly bear them as light-leaved spring comes on, and luckless lads will wear them when I am dead and gone. 